What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be installing a pretty cool bed accessory for my Tacoma. If you're new to the channel, one of the first ever modifications that I did to my truck was adding the bed rail to the front of the bed. For 2017, for whatever reason, Toyota decided not to include that. And as a truck owner, you need all these channels, all these tie down hooks to safely secure any items that you have in the bed. So in today's video, we're gonna be installing these bed tie down hooks as well as these rail tie down hooks. These are from Charvonia Design. I'll have all their information down in the description below, as well as our promo code. You use Bros for Speed, you can save on your purchase. So these right here are CNC machined billet aluminum. You can see I got them anodized in blue. Of course, I have a blue truck, so I wanted them to match. You can get a few different colors just by looking at them on the website. But these are going to be a very cool because the ones that come from Toyota are just these cheap plastic. You can see we have one thing here that's very easy to loosen up. And as I take this out, you're going to see a huge difference between this new bed tie down hook and the factory one here. Look, this is the only thing that is holding this into this rail. So if you put a large load and strap it to this, there's a huge risk that this could fail depending on what you have tied down. We're only talking less than a quarter inch on both sides. So you're talking about all this weight being strapped to this plastic piece and you have basically like a finger there to hold it in place. On our new brackets here, you can see we have machined aluminum for the bracket itself. And you can see the channel that it has because all we have to do, pop out this end cap here, it's going to be a little bit easier to install this with it already attached. And we can slide that right in to where I had the one before and look at how much surface area we have. I have motorcycles, dirt bikes in the back. We're talking two to 400 pounds, depending on what I have in the back. And we have a solid connection here once we tighten this up. And one thing that I've also noticed too, we're gonna put the dirt bikes in the back here in just a second so you can see this, but the profile of these new ones is much more sleek. You can see how much more bulky the stock one is. And especially being a small bed like this on a mid-sized truck, this gives you a little bit of added extra room. So especially with the dirt bikes and having the foot pegs, they shouldn't get in the way being so slim so i already like that adjustment and then we also have this bed one as well you can see it's a very similar design just a little bit smaller this one is going to replace this little metal hook right here and you can already tell without me removing it look how much more beefy this new one is so it's definitely going to give us a lot more added security and a little bit more peace of mind with any items that you have in the back I do have the five foot bed as well. So I do have the tailgate down a lot and that can be a little bit nerve wracking, especially since you haven't put anything in the back before. These are also compatible with the Toyota Tundra as well as some of the first gen Tacomas. Definitely check out the product description for these just to make sure it's compatible with your year truck. So moving on to the installation now, I already went ahead and snugged this one up. I'm gonna be using the same locations that I have these ones just because they're in a good spot for me. So in order to remove this factory hook here, we have a T40 that we're gonna be using and it's just these two bolts. So it's pretty simple to take out. And actually they're not even in there that tight. And so with that out, we can get a better before and after look. This new one just swallows the old one there. You can see how much more beefy it is. We have a few different ways that we can put our tie down hooks as well. You can go right around it like this, or or you can utilize the smaller hole right in there, just depending on the tie down hook that you have. And while this is more beefy, it still retains the same profile as this one here. So it doesn't stick out any farther. It's pretty much the same as far as dimensions for sticking out. So I really like that design, being able to work with the factory truck here. So now we're going to take our six millimeter wrench with the new bolts and snug this up. So now moving on to the front bed rail here, you can see I have both of these stock ones on each side here. It's perfect for the dirt bikes that I put in the back. So we have one on each side. And just to give you another look at how much more simple this is, I may even have to maneuver them once we get the bikes in here, just because I had to move these to uh, clear the tire space. So this might be a little bit more effective. So in order to get these ones in the front, and you can see how easy that is to loosen. That's definitely one thing that I don't like about these is the fact that they are so easy to untwist. They really don't lock into place, which I don't like. And one thing with these factory ones too, is they're a lot easier to steal. You don't need a tool to remove them, whereas you need a tool for this. So that makes it a little bit harder. And in order to install these on the front bed rail, we do have to remove this. So we have a few different bolts here with a T30 that I'll be using. And once we remove those, then we can slide these pieces in. 
And with that last bolt out, I can remove this. I already have this set up, making it easier to slide in. So just like that, we can slide it in. Obviously, I'll have the other one on that side as well. And you can already see, before I snug this down, look at how much thinner that is. Definitely going to give us a lot more room. So now that we have one side completely done here, there's a few things that we wanted to go over before we continue this video. One is the fact that we have that piece that I showed on the back side of this rail here. So you have all of that to distribute the weight that you're having on here. And you can see, look at how sturdy this is. Like I'm trying to shake it and it's just shaking the whole truck. Like it is not going anywhere. You come over to the factory one, look at this. I mean, I don't even feel comfortable standing on this. You can see it flexing and bending. Now I will say these are good from the factory if you're not really using heavy weights back here or you have some smaller items and you just need this to secure a, a smaller load. But that's just not, uns that's not safe, I don't think. Whereas this one, look at how confident I feel. I can stand on this and I mean, it doesn't even flex. I would not want to stand on try, this. Try it a little bit. <laughs> we have that, you know, that backside that we showed earlier. Let's see what it looks like. I just don't like, that's not even all my weight. I've, I just don't even trust it like this. This is heavy duty solid. We have the one down here too. And uh, I, I love how they look. I love how sleek they are. So with the bike up in the truck now, I'm gonna go ahead and snug it down and we're gonna shake the bike to see how well those react. Now, if I was towing this, I wouldn't have these tie down hooks that close together, but we just wanna demonstrate, does that look about straight there? Yeah. Wanna good. demonstrate how they react with these straps. So just by wow. shaking it, look at all the movement and flex in here. See that? And then move over to our new tie down hooks. Now with the tie down hooks or the, uh, these straps that I have, it actually worked to go through this middle. So just depending on the shape of these, obviously you could go around the entire thing. There's no flex on that at all. That makes me very happy. Uh, when I have my 400 pound motorcycle in the back, I'm putting six or seven straps on the bike just to help disperse some of the uh, weight on here. Like I will put two on here in different directions just to kind of help alleviate the pressure. But even with a 200 pound bike, that's a huge difference. That is awesome to see. So now using the bed hooks on both sides, if I only had one bike in the back, this is how I would strap it down. Now you're not really going to see much of a difference compared to this plastic one up top because it still does have some rigidity to it. However, I love how much the blue one looks compared to this one. Just gives it a little bit nicer of a look. But we also have the multiple strap uh, ability. Like as you saw in this one, I was going through the middle. On this one, I was able to get around it. Now, if I had to put another strap, that gives you another area to do that. Whereas on this side, we would have the straps touching. Not that it would probably make a difference, but it's nice to know that the straps would be separated on that new one there. So there you guys have it, the new bed and rail tie downs for my Tacoma. Once again, check out Charvonia Designs. I'll have all their information down in the description below, as well as our promo code. This is a local company. All of these are made in the US, so it's definitely awesome to help support a company from the United States. And of course, we have much more secured area for our tie downs for any items that you place in the bed of your Tacoma or of your Tundra. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with our daily uploads. And we'll see you guys in the next video.